Airstrikes are reportedly pushing back ISIL militants. They've been on the verge of seizing the town of Kobani. That's on the Syria-Turkey border. But the latest air assault has cleared the way for Kurdish fighters to keep the town secure. But that's for the time being. The Pentagon admits that Kobani may still fall. And human rights groups say if that happens, if the town falls, it could result in genocide. When Syria descended into civil war, the world stepped in to remove the Assad regime's chemical weapons. Now, those seized toxins have been neutralized thanks to a local group of men and women, civilians, who put their own lives at risk to do it. Only on 7, senior political reporter Scott Thuman introduces us to the group at the Aberdeen Proving Ground. You're looking at what some would call the best of the best, although they would never tell you that. How good do you feel? I feel good. I feel good to get through this. <laughs> to be honest, my wife will tell you, yeah, this is uh, this has been probably as as uh, agonizing for me as doing the whole job. The job he's talking about and the limelight Tim Blades agonizes over as a result was saving lives by destroying some of the worst chemicals on the planet, mustard gas and the ingredients for sarin used by Syrians to kill civilians. All those things take options off the table for bad guys to do bad things. These chemical experts at Aberdeen Proving Ground, who all volunteered for the job, by the way, were destroying such lethal agents it had to be done overseas at sea on a ship. Building the device and preparing it took months. This job being unique, you don't get off the ship until you get done the job, and that's a pretty big incentive. The work was tough, roughly 24 hours a day and dangerous. They retrofitted a system like this to fit on a ship and then in just 42 days destroyed more than 600 tons of chemical material, something never before done anywhere in the world. Amos Henderson. So today, this rare, very lofty award ceremony. Everyone in the room aware that as ISIL takes large parts of Syria, a majority of the chemical weapons can't fall into their hands. Do you ever think about that? We do. That's not something that we dwell on every day. It's a lot more about keeping our folks uh, in one piece and getting home safely. And to the joy and praise of so many, they have done just that. Scott Thuman, ABC 7 News.